you. What's the deal? It's time to get real with your higher It's time to get real with your higher YouTube. What's the deal? YouTube, what's the deal? It's your girl Jahira and I am back. Hey y'all. So I'm really happy today. I am bringing to y'all another wig on review. Now for those of you who do not know or who have not been with my channel very long and are unaware of what an unreview is, I have this ongoing theory that people in the beauty community are very, very serious and stoic about their, you know, hair enhancements, whether they be extensions or weaves or wigs. And I just feel like, you know, protective styles should at their core be fun. I'm a big fan of fun. I love having fun. Therefore, the unreview is just a more lighthearted, fun version <laughs> of a wig review. I'm super excited, y'all, because today, one today, stop, stop, Jaira, stop, stop. I am going to be reviewing a wig by Free Tress, and it is their lace. Deep Invisible Part, Miss Virgo. Now, I don't know anything about the Zodiac, but I assume that Virgos are very nice people, so shouts to y'all. This wig has actually been reviewed on YouTube a couple of times, but I have not seen it reviewed yet in the color that I got it in, which is OM Hazel. Now, we should all know by now that OM um, in, the, in the wig world stands for ombre. So what you're going to be looking at in this particular case is a darker rooted area that ascends in color to a lighter end. And I'm all the way happy because do y'all see the size of this box? Mama, this thing is long boots and so is this hair. I haven't even opened the box yet because I wanted us to be able to see it at the same time together. Um, and I'm going to be doing that very shortly, but first let me just give you all a little backstory. I ordered this online from beautyofnewyork.com and um, I was very impressed because I've never worked with them before. I've never ordered a wig before. Um, I didn't, you know, I paid for this wig, y'all. <laughs> That's what you need to know. Um, but it was very reasonably priced, I have to say, at $34.99. And mind you, I have seen Miss Virgo on different sites for like $42, $49.99, like these really crazy amounts. So if you're a more economical shopper like I am these days, especially with the holiday season upon us, um, you kind of have to do a little shopping around. But Beauty of New York priced this at $34.99 and the shipping, y'all, I, I ordered it, you know, in ground shipping. I cannot believe that it got to me in two days. Literally two days. I was shocked because, you know, ground shipping, honey, sometimes you feel like somebody's walking with your little bag behind their back or something like that. But yeah, the shipping was super fast. So beautyofnewyork.com, shouts to you. So at this time, I'm going to open the box for the very first time so that we could see Ms. Virgo in the O.M. Hazel. Hazel. Shouts to Hazel. Um, I'm so happy. I was really, really, really staring intently at this wig because the, the reasoning behind why I got it in the first place was because I wanted a wig that would look really cute under a hat. You know, the cold weather is upon us. Even in Louisville, Kentucky, it is not warm, y'all. Be not deceived. It is cold boots. So I wanted a wig that would look really cute under a hat. Oh, they've got the little tissue with the equal logo. Um, and long hair tends to look really good under hats and a straighter texture, you know. Hats are usually cotton and sometimes they can snatch out hair and cause curls to really frizz up. So I wanted something long and straight. Y'all, I'm so happy, I'm so excited. All right. Uh, hello. Ooh. Okay, so this is a lot of stuff. They give you the tag with the care instructions, of course, and the little other tag that is completely meaningless to you and I, unless you just want to, you know, stick it into the satchel to remind you of which wig it is. But here comes Hazel, and Hazel, I mean, Virgo, God, Jahira, do not start calling this wig Hazel. All right, y'all. 
This is a little complicated. Or I'm just a little slow. Okay, this thing is tagged and taped up like there's no tomorrow. So let me get all of this off and then we can ooh and all together. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. And um, I de-tagged the wig and then just while I was in the process, I cut the lace off because there is lace on this wig. So this is it, y'all. <laughs> this is OM Virgo. Can you believe this? Now this, again, is the color OM Hazel. Did I say OM Virgo? Lord, y'all just forgive me. I'm tired. But yeah, this is it. And I'm super happy with it. Y'all, this is... um. A lot of companies have been getting into this L-shaped parting and they're usually done in two ways. One of them being you can um, cut along, there's usually a perforation and you can cut along that to let your natural hair kind of comb over um, for that level of natural appearance. This doesn't appear to be perforated. It, it just seems to be a straight up and down ah, lace part. But I mean, look how deep that is. Now again, this is not freestyle parting. You are stuck with um, the part that you initially, you know, started out with, which is generally a side part on one of these sides. And um, and that's kind of where that is. But it's so damn deep, y'all. This thing goes back. And if you do that, you know, concealer trick right under it, you are good to go. There's also, I don't know if you can necessarily appreciate this, but there is a, um, a side swept, very feathery bang. And again, now at the top of this, um, you know, from the root, I'm going to call this, it might be showing up a little bit dark on camera, but in my light, I, I would call this a, somewhere like a 1B or a 2. I think it's really closer to a 2 because in the right light, I definitely appreciate some brown um, highlights. But as you move your way down, and I mean down because baby, this thing is long for your nerves. As you move your way down, you, you jump into maybe like, I would call this maybe a six, color six or an eight. And then as you make your way to the bottom, this is really where the magic happens. This is like, I mean, if this isn't a 27, I don't know what it is. It's very, they have a lighter one. I believe it's called OM Champagne, where it's really like a, a 613 a platinum color at the bottom. But I wanted something like this because, I, you know, a wig at this length, me personally, I would prefer to, you know, err on the side of understated. Y'all, hold on. Y'all, the telemarketers are after me. Moving right along. Let me get into, an, uh, you know, some more of the specs here. You've got two combs in the front. Two combs in the front. A comb in the back with your um, tabs adjustable tabs there we go adjustable straps um, and there are sculpting tabs on the side if you are looking for a more secure fit now I'm gonna be honest with y'all because that's just what we do over here we be honest this cap looks small to me I really don't even think I'm gonna necessarily need the tabs in the back because you know your girl is a bit head alicious like this looks small there's also, hopefully you can see, there are baby hairs in the back in the event that you decide to snatch this up. And with length like this, you absolutely could. I'm really not going to, you know, I'm going to call this somewhere between 26 and 28 inches. I mean, I, I really won't know until it's on my head. And I tend to go by weaves that I've worn. But yeah, this thing is long. Like this is not, this, this hair ain't for kids, y'all. This is grown woman hair. This is not for the faint of heart whatsoever. Um, but I love it. And I just love how deep this part goes. And the bangs are long enough that you could definitely like, if you wanted to tuck them behind an ear, this is future, future, future hair. So you could absolutely curl this up if you wanted to. If you want to flick the bangs out a little bit more, give it more of a flippy effect, or if you want to bend them under, all of that is doable with this because it is, again, Futura, meaning it is curling, curling iron safe up to 350 degrees, somewhere along those lines. So let me get my bow together and I will throw this on my head momentarily later. Hold on. So the bow is in place and I am prepared to go in. 
I'm just going to leave the, the wig tabs, I mean the wig straps, off. Because I'm a little concerned about the size of this. Or the lack of size of this. But, um, yeah. Alright, so here I go. Wish me luck. See you in a few. <laughs> oh. Okay, it might be a little roomier than I gave it credit for. If I could just find this comb in the back. Oh. Oh. Whew. Oh. Y'all, hold on a second. I'm coming. I promise I'm coming. Okay. There's one comb. And there's, okay, this is actually, ye okay, so what the hell was I talking about? Because this is pretty big. Um, ow, wait, y'all, give me one more second. Just let me get my brush. All right, y'all, I'm back. I'm going to give myself a workout. So this is it on. And I'll tell you now, again, I, I was wrong about the cap um, construction. It really isn't too small. Like, I have, you know, a veritable ton of hair under this, and it's still very, very, very comfortable on my head. I don't feel like I'm getting a lobotomy or anything like that. But here's the con, and I'll just be very honest up front. The comb in the back is incredibly short. I mean, it's just like stubby. There's no other way to put it. And so it kind of makes it difficult to get a good grip under in the back. But y'all, this is it. And check out my part, my long part. Now, I haven't done a damn thing with regard to concealer. This went right on my head, as you see. But for it to show through the way that it does, I I'm more than a little impressed. And y'all... <laughs> The length, the length of this hair is insane. I mean, and again, if you're not somebody who, who really relishes like ultra long hair, this is definitely not the wig for you. And I mean, I wouldn't even advise buying something like this and cutting it be, un, unless you have it in a solid color because, you know, the, the point essentially is to keep the ombre at the ends. This is, I mean, you have to be a long hair lover to appreciate this wig. Um, my brush is going through it with, with, with relative ease, and I'm gonna show y'all just how long this thing is. Um, let me just bring it to the front. Very happy, happy with my purchase. I do, like in the interest of full disclosure, feel a little bit, you know, share circa 1974 in the Bob Mackie gowns. But, but I can live with that. I can, I promise. Ah, oh, love this color. Love it. Love it. Okay. So, here we have it all in the front. And to the side. And here goes the back. Please excuse my inordinately large ass. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, she's hitting... I'm about five, six and a half. And so this is... Between my tailbone and my Christmas. That's all we're going to say. Here goes the other side, if you needed to see it from that angle. And... Here I go. So, you know, my educated guess would honestly be 30 inches. 30, 32? I mean, let me just say that there are, you know, long layers in here. This is not exactly a blunt cut. And of course you do have your side swooped bang, which hits you, well, it hits me with the curvature sort of right at cheekbone level 
So, I mean, it, it's not exactly, you know, you're not dealing with cousin it hair here. It's just, oh, with the color, with the color, this OM Hazel. And y'all, I got to tell you, there are a plethora of colors to this unit, like a melange, a cornucopia, if you will. There are so many colors. There is a color for, to suit everybody. Now, again, with hair this long, I err on the side of the conservative. That's just who I am. But if that's not who you are, honey, they've got a full-on bright pink. They have varying degrees. I've seen the OM Sunset, which is absolutely gorgeous. They have a Sangria. They have a Tangerine. They have Rose, and I actually might pick up um, Rose because it's this absolutely gorgeous shade of, I, I guess you could call it like a 530, like a bright burgundy red. It, it, there are so many. And, of course, the OM Champagne which has like the white blonde at the bottom. There are so many options to choose from. Once again, free tress. I really cannot believe the way they have stepped it up. You know what I'm saying? Like they've always been on the cutting edge of color. Like most of the great colors I've gotten have come out of free tress, but this is just taking it to a whole other level. I really could not be happier. So y'all, once again, this is free tress invisible part, um, L-shaped lace, Virgo in the color OM Hazel. I, I couldn't be happier, to be honest. And I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you have any questions, please drop it below. And uh, the link to Beauty of New York will absolutely be below. I'll answer any questions that you might have. And um, please have an excellent day. And I will talk to you very soon. I love you. And as always, one love. <laughs> Yay, free dress.